Hello, and welcome to our first tutorial for goldfish for a grasshopper. Uh, we're just going to start off by going over a little bit about the installation process. So when you download the file from thispointon.com, it will come as a RAR file. So go ahead and unrar that and place the three files inside of a directory. It's important that all three files are inside a directory because these two DLLs support this, uh, this grasshopper component, and without them it won't work. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and start up Rhino 5. And for Goldfish, it's going to have to be Rhino 5 64 bit. Uh, once that's started up, you can go into your command line and type Grasshopper Developer Settings. And add your path for that directory that we just uh, placed the files into. Hit OK, and then you can go ahead and start up Grasshopper. And you'll see this box pop up here, and uh, it's not really important. I believe it's popping up because this is a mixed mode uh, DLL. So just go ahead and press OK. And now you got your canvas here. I have a file that I already have prepared. So I'm going to open it here, and it's a very simple file. It's only two lines and two points. Um, I also have a definition that I prepared. So this is also a pretty simple definition. It's uh, this curve here is this one, this curve here is this one, and this point here is this point right right there. And it's basically just a curve and another curve is divided up into 79 points. And these are plugged into uh, these parameters here, which is the velocity emitter, the boundary object, and the density emitter. So to start the simulation, now that's all set up, just double click on the component. And uh, you get this pop-up box here. In here, you can set and change all the parameters for your simulation. And if you stray too far from these uh, parameters, or you see that the simulation isn't working that well, just go ahead and hit default, and it will all go back to its original settings. Um, some of these things don't work right now, like show particles and set returns are just Well, they're not disabled, but they just don't work at the moment. Um, but to start the simulation, just go ahead and press create. And you'll see this mesh pop up over here. And uh, the simulation start running. Set up, you can play around with it. You can notice that it's all uh, updated in real time. So if you want to move the boundary object, you can just pull it around. If you want to move the density emitters, you can do the same thing. And uh, if you want to change these parameters, like I said before, just change them here and hit update. Um, once you have this all running and you're happy with your simulation, you can press stop and you'll get a mesh. And this mesh has all of the color values from your simulation. Um, for right now, the grasshopper component doesn't have any returns, but that will change in uh, you know, upcoming releases. But that's it for right now. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it.